Odyssea, so then you now I talked a lot, so you, you guys probably forgot. Listen to this. They were just cut to the heart by the gospel. And you know what Peter said? Has the authority of here is a call to justification. Take that out. And then you may say, but Jeremiah, what about I love how the English act of your sins? I love how the English actually translates this for the forgiveness of now, he says, for the forgiveness of sins. Notice this right here. Now, Jeremiah, he's a, he's a pastor, and he says, in Acts 2.38, he loves how the English translated this Greek word, because before that, remember, he says, you've got to go to the Greek. You know, you, you're missing out. Notice this up here. The Byzantine Greek, I helped you guys on it. I put, Jesus is these words. You can pause it, take a screenshot. Jesus Christ. For remission of sins. All right? Now, notice this right here. This is the remission. See how it has the remission? But look up here. Look up here. For remission. Okay? For remission. It is actually, it's, it's this word up here. Now, you have the, the definite article, the gift. That's below. The, right here. The gift, okay? But he's saying the definite article should be right here. Right between these two. Right there where I got it. See, the definite article should be there in the Greek. It should say, Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Well, the definite article is not there in the Greek. So it's actually just what the translators added in there. So he's using an argument in a debate then the Greek doesn't even have the definite article. Why is he doing that? And he's saying that the definite article points to a time because he says some lame excuse about how the Jews look back at time and forward in time or something like that, basically get out of baptism. That they look back and, and they're looking forward now to Jesus and just, just rambling. I mean, Acts 2.38 is not that hard. It is because of individuals' traditions. So I would like for, hopefully, his friends are watching this and they think I'm ignorant on the definite article. Why don't they help their pastor out? See, this is not a hard verse. Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right? And then when you look back here at my lesson, if I can find my little cursor here, look here. We see it in the Greek, the Byzantine. It says, Jesus Christ for remission of sins. It doesn't even have the article there. All right? So, do you need to go to the Greek?